I'm gonna be showing you how I sharpen this Wacom stylus. I like to sharpen these with the sandpaper. And then you just... Hey guys, welcome to Proko. My name is Stan Prokopenko. I'm gonna be showing you how I sharpen all the various graphite and charcoal pencils that I use with a bunch of different methods of sharpening, different tools. We're gonna be covering wooded pencils with electric sharpener, wooded pencils like the Blackwing with the Blackwing non-electric pencil sharpener, the woodless graphite pencils using razor blades and sandpaper, charcoal pencils, also razor blade sandpaper, all the different sandpaper tools I use, and the two millimeter mechanical pencils using the Stadler rotary sharpener. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna go into the wooded pencils, and that includes your regular old number two graphite pencil, which is equivalent to an HB. A lot of the time when you're drawing with graphite, you're gonna be using the tip. It's good for detailed work, it's good for longer rendering. You could use the side, I use the side all the time as well, but if you are gonna be using the tip, just a electric sharpener is very convenient to have by your desk, so that if you're really in the zone, you just, Done. I recommend battery powered because you just want to be able to just grab it, put it in. You don't want to have to plug it in, and it, it gets you out of the zone. That's the that's the point. Is that these are very convenient and they work well. When you do get one of these, get one that ha that says it gives you a longer point. This is the longer point. Long, long it's not that long. It's just that. Some of them, like for example, when you get these number two pencils out of the box, see how it's got a much shorter part of the wood exposed? Some sharpeners actually sharpen that way. Longer tip, it lasts longer, and it's pointier. <laughs> so it's just, I don't know, it's nice. But you can't really bring them with you. You're not gonna put that in your backpack. It's pretty large. So I use actually this black wing sharpener, and this works really well with any wooded graphite pencil. It doesn't work so well with the woodless. It just kind of starts getting slippery in there. I like it because it has a two-point system. You use both of them. It's much better than these little ones here. You get with everything you order. I don't know. I have probably like 12 of these because if I get a set of graphite pencils, they always come with one of these. I don't understand why they make them so bad because basically when you sharpen it... Yeah, okay, this one doesn't even work. <laughs> Let me get another one. There, so this one's working much better. I usually do this over a trash can. <laughs> if I keep going, there's another thing that happens where the tip ends up actually starting to curve back out and it doesn't get it to a nice point. It's also just breaking the wood. Like these blades, I don't know, they make them so cheap. These are very inconsistent. I do not like to bring these with me because if I bring a bad one, then I have nothing to sharpen my pencil with. So I don't use these. This has been very consistent. They do come with some extra blades in here. These blades can be replaced. You just take out the screw in there and put it in. And these are fresh blades that I have not used. I've had this pencil sharpener for like a decade. So it's got two holes in it. You're gonna start with the first one on the left. And what that does is it takes off the wood and look at what it does <laughs> at the tip. It's really weird. It has this extra little bit at the end that it doesn't get. It's not a point, it's just like a straight tube. So now the second hole will sharpen the graphite. It's two different blades. One is made for sharpening wood and one is made for sharpening the graphite. It's kind of nice. Done. Perfect point. The wood is nice and smooth, not all broken up. So two blade system works amazing. There's another way I sharpen the wooded graphite pencils. Sometimes I want to use the side of the pencil. When you use the side, look at what happens. You see how the tip gets darker and then it slowly it gets softer as I go into the thicker part. There's no way to get like a nice feather. So what I do is I start with the electric sharpener, get a nice point, and then I just get some sandpaper and I round it out a little bit. Basically you just put it on the side, not all the way flat to the wood, just lift it just the tiniest bit and you start rounding out the tip to be more like a bullet. So instead of a perfectly straight spear, it's a spear and then it starts to round in a little bit, like a bullet. 
We'll see what happens. No, I always wipe it afterwards because there's a bunch of graphite dust. Now, I don't get that tip. I could draw softer edges. I can control the edge. If I really want to get a, a sharp edge, I'll just use the tip and then, you know, I draw off to it. But this is more like a feather that I can control. And I have not exposed more of the wood. I'll show you how I do that later. But if I want to use the side, but I don't need a long part of the graphite, Electric pencil sharpener, a little bit of sanding, like for five seconds, and I'm ready to use the side of the pencil. So let's jump back to this sanding block. So they come in different textures, right? There's either really coarse or really fine sandpaper. This one is 150. The lower you go, the, the more coarse it gets. This one's 150. I think that's kind of a good middle ground for charcoal and graphite. If I'm sharpening something like a charcoal pencil and it's real thick and I want to go really fast, I want to sharpen it real fast, I have 120. This is much coarser. I don't go more coarse than this. This is going to leave scratches on your pencil, on your graphite pencils. So basically like I would say stick between 120 and like 250, somewhere in there. Try them out, see what you like better. It also depends on what kind of pencil you're using. But you know those uh, long skinny strips you can buy at the, at the art store and you use it for like 10 seconds and it's already completely dark and you rip them off, throw them away. Instead of those tiny ones, I like to make these large ones or use a paddle, yes. <laughs> I do use these, but it's got sandpaper on it and it's actually a perfect grit. Like it's a perfect amount of coarseness. I think it's like a 150. That's what it feels like. And so I buy these, they got a handle. It's perfect, but you know, you can't take the sandpaper off. You kind of have to throw away the whole thing when you're when it's a little bit too dirty. So these are a little more economical. So I'll show you how I make these. So I'll make one of these coarse ones for a charcoal pencil I'm going to use later. And I have uh, two of them taped together. It's a little bit thicker. It's more comfortable to hold. And this could be any wood. It really doesn't matter. It, you just need something to wrap the sandpaper around. And then duct tape. If you use tape that's that's not strong enough, it doesn't stick to the sandpaper very well. So that's why I use the duct tape. It sticks to sandpaper real nice. Ta-da! Little sanding block. You can make a bigger one, a smaller one, whatever you prefer. I actually cut this strip. Sand sheets come much larger. I just cut a little sheet the size of my wood, wrapped it around. Also, my friend Cutter made me one of these handles. And this is, this is really nice. He just cut this wood and sanded it down. And you can get whatever sandpaper you want, cut them up into strips. And then it's held together by a little plate. And if you need to replace, if you're all out and you put more in, you just take the bolts out, put more sandpaper in, close it back up. This plate doesn't just hold it down. It also acts as a way to rip the sheet off. Basically, this is just a larger version of the crappy little ones that you can get at the art store. Perfect. Thank you, Cutter. But if you're not going to make your own custom wooded paddle, these are great, or these are great, or you could even just hold a piece of sandpaper <laughs> and just use it like that. That's fine too. When you're sharpening a lot of pencils, you want to make it as convenient for yourself as possible. So these are nice. All right, we got our sandpaper. The other tool that we need to sharpen something like this, where we got a nice fine point on a woodless graphite pencil, or something like this, a charcoal pencil, really long point exposed, I can use the side of it to draw and get really soft gradations. The other tool is a razor blade. You can buy a pack of a bunch. They're super cheap. They come wrapped like this individually. Just take it off. Very sharp. I'll show you how I hold this to sharpen the pencil, but first, a little bit of blade safety. If you're not an adult, <laughs> find an adult and have them supervise you, please. These are sharp and you're gonna be holding them real tight, real net, you know, really close to your fingers and you're gonna be pushing up against stuff and you want an adult next to you. So please, if you're not an adult, don't do this without an adult. And if you're an adult, be careful. These are super sharp. It's gonna feel awkward. You don't, you know, you're not used to sharpening. Also, they eventually get dull. Sometimes they get rusty, like, this one has rust all over it. It's been, you know, it was kind of just sitting in my supply. And I feel really weird 
throwing razor blades into the trash, even though they're kind of dull, I always get tape, rip off a little piece, and I wrap it around the blade like that. So now the, the blade is not exposed, and then I toss that into the trash, and I just feel a lot more safer that way. Okay, so we got our, our blade, we got our sandpaper. I'll show you how to sharpen a woodless graphite pencil like this to a nice point so you can use a, a bunch of the side. Because this doesn't have the wood, the graphite is so much thicker that you can expose a lot more of it or you can just get a much longer point. So the first thing I do, this is how it comes out. First thing I do is use a blade to take off this coating that's on it. I don't know if it's glue or plastic, whatever. Use a, a sharp blade to take it off. And this is how I hold it. You just grab it, thumb and index finger, you could put two fingers on it. Hold the pencil pretty much the same way and then you just slide it like this. And you have to find the correct angle of the blade in order to be able to slide it and take the plastic coating off. You don't want to dig too deep into the graphite and start carving, you know, little valleys in there. Now I'm going to get my coarse sandpaper out and get that corner out as fast as I can. And then same thing, once I got that corner pretty much soft, then I'm going to start rounding out the tip to be a little bit more like a blade. Not too much, just a little bit. It's still mostly a spear. Still gonna be very pointy. Paper towel, and there you go. Nice tapered point. You can use the side and get very, very soft, very, very soft gradations with that. Although the texture of the paper will show through more when you do that. So sandpaper is also how I sharpen these 5.6 millimeter mechanical pencils. See, they, they come with these really small leads. They come in these packs. Just feed one in, leave the amount you want, get some sandpaper, do the same thing. Take off the corner, make a spear, and then round out the tip, make it a bullet. And it looks like this. These don't have the coat on top of them because they're meant to be put into a holder, a clutch, so they don't need a coat to protect your fingers from getting dirty. These woodless pencils have a coat because they're meant to just be held naked. And so this is just to keep your hands clean. So no need for, for razor blades with these bad boys. Next up, I'm going to show you charcoal pencils. So I, this is my most commonly used pencil. I, I use charcoal a lot. In my basics, drawing basics course, I use mostly graphite just because I feel like it's good for people to start with a much simpler tool. This one's meant to be held in a way that's frustrating <laughs> for someone that's just starting out. So in the drawing basics course, I'm easing you into the overhand method, having you use both tripod and overhand as you get better. I have a broken one right here. What you do is first, you got to take off a bunch of wood. Same thing, you hold the pencil like this, the razor blade like this, put the blade where you're going to start, and then you're going to just push. Your right hand, if you're right-handed, is going to guide the blade. Your left thumb is pushing. So you're guiding with this, you're pushing with this. Boop. And that's what you do. You just get these really long, skinny slices of wood off. Oh, fun! So I just took off a bunch of wood and I discovered that there is a whole bunch of charcoal missing in there. As soon as I take the wood off, that's all going to break. <laughs> it was broken inside before I even started. So, so I'm going to get another one. Here's one that's really dull. I like to expose a lot more. Like see here, here's one that's sharpened. Here's one that I've used for a while that I kind of need to freshen up a little bit. So I'm going to take off maybe half an inch of the wood. The same thing, little slits. Boop. And with charcoal, it's really soft. It's really important that you don't dig in. I mean, it's also important when you're doing it with the graphite, but it's so much easier to mess that up with the charcoal pencil is your angle of the blade is going too far in to the lead and you just carve, carve a hole right into it. 
So skinny slices are better so that you don't take off any charcoal. You're only taking off the wood. Because think about it. What you want at the end is a nice smooth piece of charcoal. And if you dig into it, well now you don't have a smooth piece of charcoal anymore. Now you have a, an indent and when it comes up, you got the part that touches the paper and you're just gonna get a line there. Try to keep your hand relaxed too. If you flex your whole hand, you might get cramped up. And that just means you're squeezing too hard. You gotta be real gentle with it. And again, a sharp blade just makes everything easier. If you have to push really hard, probably means the blade is dull. Sometimes when you expose the charcoal, you take all the wood off. Sometimes you'll see there's a little bit of glue that was there between the wood and the charcoal. And I just very softly, you just kind of scrape at it. You don't, you don't need to push with the other thumb for that. You, you literally just kind of... Also, sometimes, not, not often anymore, but sometimes there's going to be a little rock, like tiny little rocks in the charcoal, very, very small. And the razor blade might get kind of stuck on it. And if you're going too fast or you're pushing too hard, when it gets stuck, you start pushing in and it breaks the whole pencil. So just be careful with that. If you feel a rock, you, you, could, you could totally feel it when, you, when you're scraping at it. You just have to kind of chip away at that little part very gently until it comes out and then, and then you're good. Once I got that exposed, some people like to keep going with the razor blade and get that whole corner out. I honestly, I just prefer to just go right to the, the sandpaper. This is like quick and dirty. Okay, and then if I want to go a little less dirty, a little more, you know, a little more fine on the sandpaper so it's not scratching off my charcoal pencil, switch to this one, the 120. And you can also go sideways. And I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm twisting the pencil the whole time. Same thing with the graphite. When you're sanding your pencil down, don't just hold it tight and then just go with one face of it because then you just get a flat plane. I'm twisting it the entire time I'm, I'm sanding it down. Wipe it off, a lot of powder on there. You go into the paper and you do that, it's just get a, just go right on your paper and, and then you're gonna smear it all over. There it is. Beautiful. All right, next up, two millimeter mechanical pencils. And these are fun. These are really thin, the two millimeters. So you get these refills. They have these two millimeter leads. And by the way, for some reason, Stadler, they have these little butts on them. And I think it's so that they don't fall out when you press it, they get stuck. But that means you have to like open up the back and put it through the back. And then some pencil holders, it's too thick, it won't even fit. So what I do <laughs> is I just freaking break off those metal pieces so that I don't have to deal with it. And then I can put it in to the front. Okay, so I got my lead in there. This is the sharpener. It also has two holes. Well, it's got three holes, but it's got these two little ones here. And it also has a little white part. I'm gonna tell you what all that is for. You start with the one on the right this time. So you put it in there and you see it gets stuck before the whole, the whole lead goes in. So you press it and then you put it in until the metal part gets stuck and then you release. And that gives you the length you want for step one. So now you put it in here all the way, make sure it's all the way in. And then you just rotate, you push in a little bit and you rotate. Hear that? That's a nice sharpening. Yeah. And then it, it's a little, it's pointy. Now you put it in the second one and this one's going to be a little longer. So you got to release a little bit of it. Same thing. Beep. Get the length. And now you put that one in. And then you'll kind of hear it sounds, starts sounding a little different when it's done. Take it out and wow, look how pointy that is. And then last step is you're going to have a little bit of powder on there. And if you don't have a paper towel with you, if you're out outdoors, this little bit, this little white dot, that's like a little squishy part that you just stick, stick it in, whoop, take it out and it's clean. Yeah. And finally, the last sharpening technique is for this Wacom stylus. I like to sharpen these with the sandpaper. So you just grab sandpaper and then you just... Ah, just kidding, that's a Sharpie, Ah, You thought I damaged my stylus? I would never do that. I was thinking about not doing that joke, but 
we did it. <laughs> and just a, an extra little bonus for you as an apology for that stupid joke. Another pencil that you could sharpen is a pencil eraser or is a eraser pencil. It is a pencil with an eraser in it. And on the back, it's got graphite. No, I'm just kidding. That, ah, too many stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So this is an eraser pencil. And the way to sharpen this. But. There's a second step because the tip, it, it, it creates this like extra really long tip. It just doesn't have any structure. And so last step, you just take your blade and chop off that extra length. And now you have a real sharp tip and it works. You can also use the side and do gradations. Cool. Anyway, that was your extra bonus just as an apology. Thank you guys very much. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, your classmates, your teachers, everybody. It really helps. Thank you guys very much. Really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.